1930s and 40s, I think, they used to do roller marathons. And the crowd used to go a bit nuts when somebody would knock someone over on purpose to win the race. And there was a guy who saw that and sort of designed a sport based around that. It was massive in the 70s, but it was more, it was more like uh, wrestling, you know, very staged. There wasn't really any sort of rule set. You could grab an opposition's hair, bash them off the railings. But it just kind of resurged in the 90s, I think, from the States, and it, it's just picked up over here as well. You have two teams of five on the track. You have two point scorers in those teams, and they are the jammers with the stars on the helmets. The pack is consistent of four blockers from either team, two pivots who have the stripes on the helmets, the pack will move off and the object of the game is to get your jammer through the pack and through the pack again so that she starts scoring as many times as possible within two minutes while stopping the other jammer from scoring any points. At Birmingham University, the Central City Roller Girls are training hard. They were one of the first roller derby teams to establish themselves in the UK. My name is Blockstar and I'm a roller girl with the Central City Roller Girls. I was listening to Pink's Rockstar and so I... I thought, oh, we block, block star. My skate name is Nancy Spinatra. I decided that because I really like Nancy Sinatra. And we all spin and these boots were made for rolling. What made me want to play is that uh, I wanted to knock girls down and... Uh... <laughs> I've been playing four years and I was here when we started CCR three years ago. I'll say roller derby has brought a lot more fun, a lot more competitiveness a lot of friends, and a lot of wild nights. I think with most girls you'll find it's an obsession. It's not just the sport we play. I've had cracked ribs, torn a muscle here. I've been knocked out twice. So I got the award for napping on the track at our last uh, award ceremony. I was out for a month last year with a knee injury. Fortunately, it wasn't serious. I also had some very severe buttock bruising from landing uh, full weight in a game. Our youngest player here is 19. You've got to be 18 to play. Um, I'm the oldest at the moment, I'm 46 in our team, but I mean, there are. we have got girls training at the moment. We've got a lady who's 62. We're training for a match we have in Manchester this coming Saturday. It's a revenge match. Uh, they, they beat us by about 15 points last time, and we don't really, we're not happy, and we have a payback to bring. It definitely helps with um, work life, because if you can play on track, with you know a team of 30 other girls, there's nothing that you can't do at work that's even as close as to be as scary as that. Croydon Roller Derby is one of the newest teams to be set up in the UK. Roller Derby means a whole world of things. It's it's a new family. It's getting together with the girls. It's being involved in a, an amazing sport. Roller Derby is very much like chess on wheels. <laughs> because you've got to think and you've got to be aware of so much and knowing the rules wins the game. I suffered um, two big bruises on both of my hips and then I broke my thumb last year quite painfully. Someone must have kicked me with their skate <laughs> while I was down. <laughs> Accidentally, I'm sure. <laughs> that happens a lot. Pile-ups. Fun. <laughs> My friend uh, Dee on Mosquito, she started a league a year ago. The official get-together, I think, was on the 30th of September. And there was about five of us at the time. The first person I recruited was President Garfield. And she was scared that nobody would turn up, so I promised I would, and I'm still here. <laughs> Basically, there are leagues around the country, and within a league, there are teams. At the moment, we're too small, we've only got one team. We're growing fast. Croydon Roller Derby consists of about 20 to 25 active skaters at the moment. We've got lawyers, we've got nurses, we've got mothers. It's just the most mixed group of girls you'll ever sort of come across. Back in Birmingham, the Central City Roller Girls' spirits are high. We are going to Manchester. I uh, had friends that did it and kept saying, come and do it because you love it. But I said, it's for girls. And they said, it doesn't matter, you can come and be a ref. We accept that it's, it's the girls' sport. There's enough men's led sport. We're going to do them today.
local pub and I was intoxicated and I saw a poster on the wall for Bowler Derby. I pulled it off the wall and I shoved it in my boot. When I woke up the next day, the poster was in there. So I put it into the Google Roller Derby and since <laughs> was the first team that came up and I like I like the colour scheme. <laughs> I like to make a, a loaf into a sandwich, which uh, it's, it lasts me the whole day then. Today we're, we're sporting turkey on one half and a pepper ham on the other. Probably not the healthiest, so I wouldn't recommend it to roller girls before a game. Before the bout begins, the track is set up and the crowd is entertained with music, stools, food and merchandise. I've had so many team talks with you that I've not run out of things to say, but I just feel like I know you all so well. Remember, if you're on there and your brain goes, think, where's my partner, where's their jammer, where's my jammer? If you skate anywhere near the level that you've been practising, then this is our game. You can go kick some ass now. Yeah. yeah. Very, very good leagues, very good teams, and a great game. I heard they had to train and stuff, so expect. <laughs> no, cut that out! <laughs> 